Bonjour, Bolivinaka, good fla afternoon through, good afternoon. Greetings from the MSD Secretariat in Port Vila. I have with me Mr. Elen Kiloy, the Program Manager for Security and Political Affairs, and I am George Hoao, the Acting Director General of the MSG. I am pleased to take this opportunity to deliver these short remarks as a show of support and solidarity towards the National Liberation and Socialist Front of Kanak, New Caledonia, on this occasion of the commemoration of International Week of Solidarity with the Peoples of Non-Self-Serving Territories under the United Nations calendar. I recall the resolution of the first ever Melanesian Spirit Group meeting held in Koroga, Papua New Guinea on the 17th of July 1986, where the heads of the government of MSG countries and representative of the French Socialist National Liberation Front met and agreed to establish the MSG to support the FLNKS right to self-determination. From humble beginnings, the MSG has developed into a regional block with our own one six-point agreed principles of cooperation among the independent states in Melanesia, which was signed on the 14th of March, 1988. Second, the Melanesian Free Trade signed in 1994 and revised in 2005. And the agreement establishing the MSG signed on the 23rd of 2007 and signed and revised in 2015. And the headquarter in Port Vila, Vanuatu, which was opened during the 17 leaders summit on the 30th of May, 2008. On the 21st of June, 2013, the MSG leaders signed the Nomea Declaration. It is to renew our commitment in supporting the right to self-determination of the people of Kanak in New Caledonia in accordance with the United Nations Charter. The Nomea Declaration also calls for, one, the protection of the right to self-determination of the Kanak people of New Caledonia in accordance with the United Nations Charter and the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights. Second, to support the protection of cultural identity and the political, economic, social and educational advancement of the Kanak people. Third, to support the protection of the rights of Kanak people against any forms of discrimination in accordance with the UN Charter and the UN Declaration of Human Rights. And taking of appropriate measures to assist the FLNKS in the implementation of the decolonization process according to the new mayor accord and to be alert to any move to delist New Caledonia from the UN decolonization list. And to take further steps in advancing the role of the MSG, particularly in complementing the work of the UN Special Committee on Decolonization on the question of New Caledonia and to take appropriate steps to assist the FLNKS in the process leading to the referendum. At the recent MSG 21st Leaders Summit, held in February in Port Mosby, Papua New Guinea, the MSG leaders adopted the 2018 Action Plan of Support towards the FLNKS of New Caledonia. The plan calls for one MSG members to support FLNKS through initiative as the provision of scholarships for university studies, work attachment, and second main opportunities in MSG member countries. This type of assistance is important to address capacity needs of the Kanak people. At the international level, our MSG leaders has directed the MSG Secretariat to further strengthen engagement with the UN and our permanent representatives to the United Nations. This is to support the FLNKS course through the United Nations and C24 processes, as well as at the African, Caribbean and Pacific networks in Brussels. The MSG has come a long way and we must continue to stay true and strong to this very important objective of the MSG. 
To this end, it gives me great pleasure to reiterate the MSG support towards FLN and KS as a source of solidarity and support on the right of self-determination of the Kanak people. Finally, happy Solidarity Week. May God bless the people of Kanak. May God bless Melanesia. Thank you. Thank you, Tomas, Vinaka, and Messi.